everybody we have guitar crate january 2021 here and i don't have the box i made a pretty big mistake this month in my recording i started recording the video i thought i was recording and i opened everything up and i did a full review and to find out i did not so it's pretty educational so the box is opened and unfortunately like we do every month we can't throw it over our shoulder because I threw the box out. So that's a little upsetting. So in recompense, we got this in our first guitar crate box, the world's second ugliest guitar strap. It was deemed so by one of our viewers because um, he picked the other ugly guitar strap, so we mailed it to him. So I nailed the garbage can, three points over the back shoulder. Okay, so this month, January 2021, uh, Guitar Crate is a subscription service where you choose how much you want to order every month. Uh, you pick a kit, they have a pedal of the month club, that one's 100 bucks. One pack of strings a month is 20 bucks, two is 40, that includes shipping to your door. The shipping is a little to be desired. It does come well packed in a nice box. Um, think of like a hobby card box, sports card box, something like that, uh, thick double wall. But the time, they say they ship out on the first week of the month. I live in Pennsylvania. They're in Connecticut. It shouldn't take, you know, seven years for a package to get here. I know there are some delays with the Postal Service right now. No one really knows why. You know, all the votes are counted. Um, some twice. Who knows? But uh, in all seriousness, the election mail-ins are over. The holiday shipping's over. I really have no good explanation as to why there's a delay in the shipping. And my only delay in shipping is with Guitar Crate. So with that said, this month we get Dunlop lock straps. These are a plastic product and they feel kind of flimsy to me. So what they do, this is about the heresy, what I'm about to do here. Oh, I'm laying it on a mat instead. So this would go in between the, uh, I'm sorry, the strap would go under this on the button, and then this would go over the strap onto the button. This opening turns, some easier than others, I mean, it's childproof, I guess. Wow, that one's tight. And you can hear it too. So that's the wide opening. This goes over the button. And then you would tighten that down and your strap would go in between. It feels kind of chintzy to me. It feels like this inner plastic could pop out very easily. Well, you actually just heard it crack. Uh, yeah, crack. Pop there. So if you're playing, moving around, that could be a problem. But I guess this is nice if you don't really want to drill your guitar. I don't know why everyone's afraid of that. The big star of this month is the Music Nomad... Guitar One and um, F1 Oil. So let's talk about the F1 Oil first. So when you oil a fretboard, you don't need a lot of oil. What I do is I would open this up, down, back up. I'd rub it around with my finger. I'd wipe off the excess, wait five minutes, wipe off the excess again. Uh, I wouldn't do it with a guitar that had strings on it, just using this as an example. And then, you know, your fretboard would be conditioned. You've heard me say in other videos that most fretboard oil is mineral oil with some other additives. I suspect this is the same thing. And smelling this, this smells like the other F1 oil. Yeah, it has a mild oily odor. Um, you don't want to say it's offensive, you know, because it's not really bad, but it's, it's not very pleasant. Now this here... Um, this polish that they have, it smells fantastic. And, you know, you just spray it on, wipe right off. And it smells great. It reminds me of a Meguiar's um, auto glass cleaning product. So, the big star of the show for this month is getting this good cleaner and a good thing of oil. And I'll tell you what, if you only have one or two guitars, this is going to last you years and years and years. Even if you have several, that's going to last a long, long time. Um, just, this has nothing to do with Guitar Crate, just a friendly tidbit. 
You do not need to put this kind of oil on an unfinished maple or any finished fretboard. So if there's a varnish over it, you do not need this oil on it. Just figure I'd point that out there before someone goes and dumps half a bottle of oil and wonders why it won't absorb into their fretboard. Okay, so pack this away. So, so far we had the Dunlop strap, strap locks and we had the F1 product. And this is the wrapper from when I opened it up. Two packs of Diodario XLs. Uh, I switched up to nines just so I have more in the inventory. When I buy my packs, I buy them in bulk. So you'll get 10 of these in a box rather than retail package like this. This is full retail packaging. Um, I did mention this in one of the other videos. On Diodario products, there's a code and I checked the codes aren't redeemed. You know, I redeemed them on my Diodario account. And I highly recommend, if you do get Diodario products, sign up. They have a really great players reward program. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because you have to type in a 6,000 length um, item number to verify that you purchased it. But it's really worth it because at the end, you can get some cool t-shirts. Um, you know, you buy so many strings, you'll end up having enough points to get more strings. We got one of these before. It's I call it a nerd wallet. And uh, full disclosure, I have a original OCE 6th print Dungeons and Dragons uh, with COA framed so I can, I'm allowed to say nerd but uh, I call this a nerd thing it's like oh I got my guitar picks on my my little keychain but this actually would be handy because I use a particular shape pick and music stores don't have them so if I was smart I'd put a couple of these in one of these multiple holders I have me I won't use it for anything but just it is a good thing to have it will look like this month is light compared to the rest of the months. And really, you got to look at the star of the show, this product here, the F1 Oil and the F1 Guitar One. Okay, so this pick, and I had another pick up here on purpose because, like I said, I started reviewing the product and I didn't realize I wasn't recording. So this is called a Jimmy Pick. No, not Jimmy Pick, I'm sorry, Chicken Pick. It's a chicken pick. And I played it a little bit. And it's thick with a weird taper on it. It goes from 2.2 millimeters to nothing. I don't know if you can see that here. And the thing I noticed about it was verse another pick. I don't even remember what the hell I just played a minute ago. But um listen to the difference. I feel like this I have to hit really hard to get an attack out of it and just if you listen to the it's made out of something weird it's it's especially when you mute Um, another pick sounds much brighter. I won't use this. I'll probably give it to someone in the band room to see if they want it. Um, but there you have it. That's the month. Now, I do want to point out something. There's my iPhone. And all of our previous episodes were recorded with the iPhone. I'm trying something different this month. It dawned on me. I'm a photographer, and my cameras do HD video, so I wanted to try it that way. I'm curious as to how the audio will sound. I feel like I'm going to need an external mic and I'm going to learn a little bit more about the uh, YouTube video process. So we'll see how that goes. But from there, I do want to say that uh, shipping issues aside, I'm still excited to get my guitar crate package every month. I hope you guys all sign up and I hope you all get something really cool. I actually hope you get something cooler than I got. You know, the whole idea, we want everyone to think better for everyone because the high tide raises all ships. Or it could sync them all, I guess, uh, conversely. But in all seriousness, um, sign up because I think the more the company grows, the more they will be able to deliver in their packages because I think they maybe have more purchasing power if they have more customers. I don't know. I'm just theorizing all this. And hopefully if they get more subscribers, they'll get their shipping act together because, quite frankly, it's irritating as hell. Um, and maybe we have other companies like Amazon to blame for that. And what I mean is... 
you're so used to getting a package in a day from Amazon or, you know, in three days from any other store that waiting 10 days or 14 days is enough to just make your, your skin crawl. So maybe it's modern society that we have to blame for being so impatient. Stay tuned because I have a couple other video ideas that I've mentioned before that I want to do and I really need to get around to doing them. Um, it's just about production, learning how to do it and getting it right so that you guys will be able to have a product you enjoy. So uh, we don't have that guitar strap, it went for a ride. Maybe we can give that to another viewer. We'll find someone that wants us to mail that to them. Um, for those just tuning in to the very last minute of this, which I don't know why you would, uh, rewind a little bit, look at that black and green strap, and if you'd like that, maybe leave a comment and we'll ship that out to you. Um, that's it for this month, so we'll see you next month with another guitar crate. Take it easy.